It's never too late to get your life. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Get Your Life Podcast. I am Lizzie G, your host. And just a quick word for everyone. Hopefully, you are doing well. Um, just a reminder, as we are embarking on um, taking care of ourselves and making sure that regardless of the hectic life that most of us leave where you work, you have so many different obligations, just remembering to put yourself first and listen to your body. Um, get the rest that you need, um, set the boundaries that you need, um, do what you need to do to make sure that you show up as your best self. Um, I have definitely been doing that in the past few months, making sure that even something that seems as simple as leaving a video, sometimes I can't because I'm super ex exhausted mentally and physically. And making sure that I don't force myself to do something that I don't feel um, physically or mentally equipped to do because I don't want to do something just to be consistent, just for the sake of being consistent. But what I, when I speak, I want it to be meaningful. I want it to um, be have some substance and I want it to be impactful. And I don't want to just do something out of routine or just because. So um, I, every time I present something, I want to make sure that I'm also taking these lessons and learning these lessons as well. And so I would definitely say the first, the two rules of self-care that I have really held on dear to have been um, boundaries and rest. And when it comes to boundaries, just making sure that I understand that no is a is a sentence. If I can't do something, not trying to um, explain why I can't do something all the time or feel bad for why I can't do something, but saying, hey, you know, um, on the weekend, like for instance, a boundary for me, Saturdays and Sundays are dedicated to my family. If it's an event that falls on a Saturday and Sunday, I mean, some things are like, I can work with like, you know, milestone birthdays, uh, weddings, things that don't happen all the time. Uh, I can make an exception. But if it's just a routine, just go out, hang out with friends, um, Saturdays and Sundays for me are off limit. That's a boundary. Why? Monday through Friday, my kids are at school, my husband's at work, I'm at work. We don't have a lot of quality time. So those two days are dedicated to them. Um, and that's just a hard boundary for me. Um, so just encouraging you, like a lot of the a lot of people say, oh man, you know, I'm so exhausted. I'm so tired. They got so much going on and they are, you know, complaining of not getting enough rest or feeling like there are so many things that they have to take care of. And just a reminder that, Hey, you can set the boundaries so that you are shaping enough time to care for yourself. And that leads me to number two rest. Um, when I'm physically or mentally tired, I try my best not to go to things. Now, there are times where there are things that come, you know, that take place where it's like, oh man, I really love this person. I want to come. I want to make sure I support them. But I have been upset with myself because I'm so mentally and physically tired that when I get to the event, I have an attitude. I look irritable. I, I, I am just... I have not to. And people do not want to see you like that. They rather you not be there than you show up with an attitude and show up like you don't want to be there. You're not helping the situation. So take the necessary rest. People will be okay. You don't owe any explanations. You need to take care of yourself first because if you don't, you can't give to people what you don't have. If you're not, um, Restful. If you don't have the peace that you need, if you're not in a good place, you cannot give that that love and that joy and that that person that people love to see. You can't give that. So make sure that you're getting adequate rest. When I'm tired. Y'all can call me cancel queen. I'll be all right. I was so used to being uh, the reliable person. You know, oh Liz will take care of it. Liz will be there. Liz whatever. I'm so used to that. And I used to feel bad if I couldn't make things. And I have made my peace with, hey, I got to take care of myself. Because at the end of the day, if I'm in the hospital bed, um, 
if I'm having a nervous breakdown, if I'm dealing with anxiety and depression, I'm dealing with that stuff alone. And there aren't people knocking down the door trying to make sure I'm okay. So I have to do the job to make sure that I'm okay. So just saying that to all of you, your obligations, societal pressures, all that stuff's gonna be there. Make sure you set your boundaries up. Make sure you um, take your rest. And the third and final thing, make sure that you're doing the things that you want to do and that's it. <laughs> what you mean by that? Well, of course, we got to go to work. We don't really want to do that. We got to clean our houses. We don't want to do that. But um, there are some times we do stuff out of obligation and it's so draining or we do things because of how it looks, the optics. Um, you're supposed to do this, so just do it. And I've had to get out of that as well. I've lived a lot of my life just doing things because that was the right thing to do. Or I didn't want anybody to say anything to me if I didn't do it. And it just doesn't look good if I don't do something. And I was even talking to my father. We were talking about something. And he was like, you know, if he didn't do this, it wouldn't have looked good. And I told my daddy, and I don't disrespect my daddy. I love my parents. But, you know, we're at the age where we can talk, you know, frankly. And honestly with them and I was like daddy I don't I don't care I simply don't care I'm tired of living my life based on everybody's obligations and everybody else's expectation uh, expectations I'm gonna do what feels good and natural to me and if the spirit leads me to do it, I'm gonna do it and if I don't feel led to do it and someone can't convince me because sometimes I may not feel led to do it but God says under other people to you know give me a word I'm like oh, okay I'll do it and it turns out being okay. But if the spirit don't lead me and God don't send nobody my way to change my mind, ain't doing it, don't care what it looks like, be mad, you'll be okay. But those that's what gives me peace, making sure that I don't do things out of obligation. So, three tips for good self-care and making sure you're putting yourself first. One, boundaries. Two, rest. Three, not doing things out of obligation. I love y'all, be your best self, bye. Yeah.